more life would have been lost than the 16 in the 21st May 2011 landslide tragedy at the Madrasa Al Taqwa Orphanage in Hululangat. But a timely warning from the UKM expert on geological hazards, Associate Professor Dr. Tajul Anwar Jamaluddin, after an extensive survey on a hilltop and surrounding terrain, the authorities were using heavy machineries to remove the debris and earth from the site, which could trigger further landslide. Jadi saya memberi taklimat kepada dia uh, supaya menghentikan segera kerja-kerja pembersihan runtuhan tanah yang runtuh kerana mereka menggunakan jentera yang berat uh, dan kawasan di antara bangunan dan cerun yang runtuh tu sangat rapat sangat rapat jadi dikhuatiri gegaran-gegaran daripada kenderaan berat ni tadi akan menyebabkan runtuhan susulan uh, jadi atas nasihat saya uh, mereka menghentikan serta-merta kerja pembersihan tanah kerana lazimnya memang memang biasanya runtuhan tanah yang besar dia macam gempa bumi juga dia akan kecenderungan untuk berlaku runtuhan-runtuhan kecil tu sentiasa ada uh, saya kata tunggu sehingga 2 atau 3 hari bagi keadaan cerun tadi tenang stabil sedikit Professor Tajul Anwar is the coordinator of the Geological Hazard Program at UKM's Southeast Asia Disaster Prevention Research Institute, SEPRI, was founded on the 1st June 2008 to oversee holistic research activities related to disaster on a global as well as regional scope in helping the government to establish policies on climate, geological and technological disaster and also in growing the human capital as the workforce at the local and international levels, especially in Southeast Asia. At Hululangat, Professor Tajwa Anwar provides critical expert input that potentially save lives further and averted the situation from worsening. He will also submit a comprehensive report to the government regarding the incident. This is a prime example of how UKM, as a premier research university, is contributing towards national well-being and development. Another significant contribution is the development of an early warning system for landslides. Dia boleh mengesan pergerakan cerun walaupun satu satu milimeter. Originally developed by a local company, Rapid Metric Sinian Berhad, the Geoseismic Wireless Extensor Sensor System or GeoWest will immediately communicate wirelessly to the control centers of any soil movements. The center will trigger SMSs to the resident in the vicinity as well as other responsible parties. Tetapi mereka tak ada pakar dalam bidang tanah runtuh. <laughs> Ini hasil inisiatif dia orang sendiri. Jadi mereka me- mengundang saya sebagai menjadi penasihat kepada mereka dan untuk bekerjasama dengan lebih lanjut lagi dengan dengan rap- dengan Rapid Matrix ni. Jadi kami sebenarnya saya uh, program jiu bencana uh, SIPRI sedang uh, dalam proses dalam proses untuk merangka MOU supaya UKM dan Rapid Matrix boleh membangunkan satu sistem uh, pemantauan pergerakan cerun yeah. slope movement monitoring system yang boleh dipercayai uh, yang teruji yeah, yang diiktiraf yang boleh diguna pakai while it costs about 10 million ringgit to repair a slope after a landslide such a monitoring system should only cost about 100,000 ringgit an objective of SEPRI geological hazard program is to change the focus of current practices in disaster management from a responsive approach to a more preventive one in order to prevent or reduce the impact of disaster. Unsur-unsur pendidikan mengenai risiko geobencana, mengenai geobencana, perlu diajar di peringkat sekolah lagi. Itu caranya. Kalau nak mendidik masyarakat, kita kena pergi ke peringkat sekolah dulu. Pihak-pihak media contohnya, juga boleh berperanan dalam menimbulkan kesedaran awam. SEPRI sees the need for proper management in a holistic manner to replace the current ad hoc emergency response. 
The Geological Hazard Program is working on such a management plan. It includes analyzing landslip with regards to risk assessment, the elements involved such as communities and infrastructure, and areas to be given priority to curb wastage or costs and resources. Studies have shown that between 1973 and 2007, there were more than 200 landslides in Malaysia that resulted in the loss of about 500 lives, an economic loss to the nation of about 3 billion ringgit.